What's up guys, welcome back to yet another video. So finally OnePlus have started rolling out first open beta based on Android 12 for OnePlus 7 series. Though currently we have the ColorOS builds, but in a day or two we might also get to see Oxygen OS 12.1 for OnePlus 7 series. So in this video, let's quickly take a look at the stability part of this build. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we have our OnePlus 7 Pro which is running on the latest build of ColorOS 12.1 which is based on Android 12 and this is the first open beta update. ColorOS version is 12.1 if you take a look at the Android version and security patch. So security patch here we get of 5th June 2022 and if you talk about the version open beta 1 build version is H.20. Let's also quickly take a look at the benchmark results on this particular build which is open beta 1. So here you can see with single core device have scored 751 and with multi core device have scored 2702 a decent scores what we have been seeing on Oxygen OS 11. With Antutu benchmark application, a device has scored 5,80,079 and we also ran CPU throttling test where you can see average gips were good enough and CPU max throttled up to 92%. And guys, before moving ahead, let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video. We still have 82% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel. So if you guys find our videos helpful to you, do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Overall, the first open beta seems to be promising and till now, whatever I have used though, I haven't used it much, but you can say almost everything works as expected. Animations are good enough. I personally haven't encountered any kind of bug or you can say animation glitches. Animations are super smooth and device also performing really great. If you guys install ColorOS 12 on your device, you'll see a lot of Chinese blotwares. So most of them can be easily removed by long pressing on the application and just tap on the uninstall tab and you can one by one uninstall all the applications. Talking about installation process, so few guys have reported that they are having issues while installing ColorOS 12.1 Open Beta 1 but for me I did not find any kind of issues installing ColorOS though my device was running Oxygen OS 11 stable build and on that I have installed the ColorOS 12.1. You just have to download the file, place it inside the internal storage of your device. On Oxygen OS 11 you do don't require a local update application you can just go to system update section and perform a local update your data won't be wiped but for safety purpose make sure to take a backup of your device and guys i won't recommend you all to install color os 12.1 i would rather say wait for a day or two we'll hopefully get to see oxygen os 12.1 build which would be first open beta for oneplus 7 series one major improvement what i saw on this latest build of open beta 1 which is based on color os and that's related to haptic feedback. Guys, trust me, if you are the one who will be using ColorOS or Oxygen OS 12.1 for the first time, then I'm sure you guys gonna like the haptic feedback present on these builds. Or you can say Android 12 for OnePlus 7 series. And I've also got some information from the closed beta testers that on closed beta 5 OnePlus have removed the always on display feature from Oxygen OS 12. But if you are running color OS, so still on the open beta, we do have the feature of always on display, but I'm not sure whether this feature will be continued on OnePlus 7 series running Oxygen OS 12. I personally don't have any kind of information about it. We'll get to know soon whenever we receive the first open beta. Though on this color OS build, always on display works pretty much great. I did not find any kind of issues while using always on display feature. You can use things like canvas AOD and other stuff. Double tap to wake works fine. We do get lot many customization options in the personalization section or you can say always on display compared to Oxygen OS 12.1. So we have this customize patterns which you can customize as per your requirements and set them as always on display. We do have these few pre-installed pictures which can also be used on always on display. You just need to download them from the theme store. On ColorOS 12.1, we do get some additional options to choose between the clock styles and those can again be downloaded from theme store which is present. 
I personally like the customization features present on Color OS 12 instead of Oxygen OS 12. We have this wallpaper color picking. So depending on the wallpaper device will adapt to the same ascent color what your wallpaper consists. So as you can see here, depending on the wallpaper, essence color have been changed. We do get the edge lightning option, which can also be applied for the incoming calls. And features like edge lightning do look damn good on OnePlus 7 Pro with this huge curved edges. I did not encounter any kind of issues unlocking device with fingerprint unlock or you can say face unlock. Both the things works perfectly fine and there is no delay to be seen while unlocking the device. All the functionalities of camera works great. I've noticed one change. So whenever we switch to front camera, if you guys can see, you will see an edge lightning which goes from the right and left center towards the top side. On the previous builds, you can say close beta or I've tested out few close beta builds of color OS and on that the edge lightning used to have a gap here where we have this pop up selfie camera. But now that thing has been fixed and I don't see any gap over here which used to appear on previous closed beta updates. And now OnePlus 7 series users can enjoy that pitch dark theme on their devices. Because on Oxygen OS 12, we do get these three modes for dark mode. One is gentle, medium and enhanced. Turning on enhanced mode will give you pitch dark theme on your device. And you can also find an option called adaptive contrast. This will automatically adjust the screen colors depending on the ambient lighting condition. While closed beta testing, I've seen many users still reporting issues related to slow charging. But on open beta, I personally did not find any kind of issues related to my device was charging quite fast. Though battery backup, I cannot predict right now. If the Oxygen OS update is delayed, then I'll do a complete review of this build in which I'll update you guys about the camera performance, battery backup and other stuff. And if you are the one who is worried about Gmail notifications, so on this build, I personally did not find any kind of delays with the notifications from Gmail. Instantly, I'm getting my mails via notification. And if you are the one who does gaming on your devices, then still you have a bad news. We still don't have the support of 90 FPS in games like Battlegrounds Mobile India. So here you can see combat and lobby settings are set to smooth and 90 FPS. If I open up gaming dashboard, we only get the support of 60 FPS. Though we have the feature of Hyper Boost on ColorOS 12.1. So guys, this was the quick look on first open beta based on ColorOS 12.1 for OnePlus 7 series. With no doubt, it's a good build till now. I haven't encountered any kind of major issues or not even minor. So if you guys cannot wait for Oxygen OS 12, then you can anytime try out this ColorOS build. All the download links are given in the description below. So as of now, only this much in this video. I hope Hope you guys gonna like the video if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you're new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day